This program is proudly brought to you by the VAFA Live Official App. With live scores, team stats, player stats and much, much more. Everything you need for the VAFA in the palm of your hand. Download it from the App Store or Google Play now. It's Christian Amenta reporting here at uh, Brighton Beach Oval, where Old Brighton have defeated the Collegians by 31 points. With me is Collegians coach Shane Joyce. Shane, it was a pretty ordinary day for footy. Um, inaccuracy in front of goal probably cost you early on and throughout the game. How do you think your players adjusted to the conditions? Clearly in the first half, we didn't adjust well enough. Um, you know, the day dictated that, you know, contested footy, um, ground ball in particular, um, and obviously taking yardage early, you know, in these conditions were going to be paramount. And we just didn't adjust well enough. And, um, you know, you look at that first half and reflection to the second half, we, um, you know, we just laid too many easy goals in that first half. You know, we made some adjustments after half time and we we're a lot more competitive, you know, around the footy, contested ball was a lot better. Um, but we just dug ourselves too big a hole to dig ourselves out of after, uh, after half time. You mentioned contested footy being a key factor in this game in particular. Um, I thought Viv Mickey's played a lone hand in that midfield. How do you think his season has progressed so far? Oh, look, Viv's taken his game to another level so far this year and he had a, a great pre-season. Uh, unfortunately, just didn't have enough support through uh, that middle part of the ground early on, you know, particularly after half time. We brought um, a couple of additional guys in to just try and give us some harder edge around the contest. So we're a lot better after half time, but Viv, Viv his inside ball winning ability and his outside ability to spread, um, he's just tireless. And yeah, he's been clearly our best over the first month of footy. And De La Salle next week for you guys. Um, you'll rev review this game and go on to them. How? How do you approach the training um, week early on? Look, we will identify the areas in the first half where we were poor. We spoke about that briefly post-game. Um, and it comes down to just clearly we didn't have enough contribution across the board. You know, we probably looked at the board post-game and said, well, OK, who played their role? Who played four quarters? We probably had five or six plays. So clearly we've got to bridge the gap with a lot of our group between their best and worst over a four-quarter period. But the positive is we... You know, apart from the inaccuracy, we kicked goal, two goals 13 to four goals one after half time. So there's something to build on there. All right, thanks for that, Shane. Um, next up, we'll have Daniel with the old Brighton coach. Thanks, Christian. I'm here with Greg, the coach of Old Brighton. Uh, Greg, a good win for your boys today, especially in the tough conditions in the first half. Uh, how do you think your team adapted and what was the key to playing in, in those sort of conditions? Yeah, look, we're really fortunate that uh, we train here on a regular basis, so that certainly helps when we get to play here. And it's it's all, you know, quite often it's... Uh terrible conditions and today was no different and I thought the way we adapted in the first quarter and, and, and even in the first half was really good and, and as I said we play the ground fairly well we train here on a regular basis so we um, made it most of the opportunities early in the game and were able to set it up in the first quarter. Uh, in those sorts of conditions it's always going to be about contested ball and really fighting hard for, for every possession I thought your tackling pressure was was incredible um is that something that you really work on and, and who are the players that stand out in those areas? I think most teams would work on it but you know I think you might have spoken to me off cam camera before about Rory Bolger and, and Jimmy Davis and both those two young guys made significant contributions in the way they tackled and put pressure on. Um, with you know, look, most clubs would do the same as what we do. We, we train it and we practice it and all you can then hope is that the players are going to deliver on game day for you. And uh, I thought Tom Fisher and his contested ball was really good as well. So we, we got a good result from those guys around the contest today. Yeah, it was a really, really tough game as well. Um, what, what do you think led your boys to getting on top and, and uh, wh who were the key contributors in, to, to that happening? Yeah, I mentioned Rory Bolger. We, we sent Rory Bolger to um, Viv Mitchie in the first half and I thought he did a really good job and all, but Mitchie ended up being a really good player for them in the second half. Tom Fisher did a good job on Sam Hibbins. Jim Davis, when he came off the bench, I thought Nick Pavlo found his own ball again pretty well. Um, Harry Hill was pretty tough in the second quarter as well. So we've been able to get some, some good influence around the ball and they pride themselves on being good contested ball players and that's what they have to deliver. That's their job. It's pretty simple. Yeah, and well, two weeks... Uh two wins over the last year's grand finalist uh, next week going into game against Old Zavs undefeated Old Zavs 
Uh, what's, the, what's the mindset and what, what's any any insight into the game plan going into that one? Oh, no, look, we'll just, the boys will enjoy this one and uh, make sure they recover well. We, we unfortunately had three hamstrings throughout the course of the game and that's that's really disappointing because our depth, whilst our reserves won today, our depth is, is not as strong as what we would hope it would be. Uh, we just need to recover properly, we'll train lightly on Tuesday night and then get our heads around what it's going to look like on Thursday night. Yeah, you touched on those hamstring injuries. Uh, is there, can you give us any insight into to what, what the situation is there with those? Um, Look, they're both going to be, sorry, the three of them are going to be a fair bit of time out. Um, disappointing Fari Sackerson, who, who missed last year basically with a shoulder injury and played first game last week with us and disappointing for him. Fraser Gregson's a pretty important player to us and Michael Karianis is his second hamstring in three weeks, so that's a real concern to us. Yeah, so a real shame. Um, who do you think will be the players to, to come in next week? Oh, it's a good question. I really haven't had a good look at that, what it's going to be. Um, and I know our reserves had a good win today. It, always hard to replace people, but all we can do is just prepare them and train during the week and, and some players will put their hand up and play and have the opportunity to play in the first next week. Yeah, yeah. Uh, an excellent win for your boys today. Congratulations, Greg. Uh, that's all from us here at Brighton Beach Oval, where Old Brighton have defeated Collegians by 31 points. This has been another Complete Sports Management production.